What's going on guys? I've got probably a relatively short video for you tonight, this afternoon, but I think it's an important video because it's an update on something that I covered a little while back. If you remember, I did a video talking about a launcher called Launcher 10, and this launcher is designed to replicate the Windows Phone styling on any Android device. And of course, when I made the video, my angle was, does this actually work on the Surface Duo number one? And if it does, does it actually make the Duo better? Because as we all know, the built-in stock launcher on Surface Duo is absolutely riddled with bugs, glitches, problems that uh, you know drive a lot of us insane from time to time. So I tested out this launcher and I think that it had a lot of potential, right? But there were a couple of things that drove me absolutely crazy. One of them was that anytime I went home, it would bring up the all apps screen. That drove me absolutely crazy. And I'm happy to report here from this tweet from Delilah. This is actually just a tweet from Mr. Wet here who tagged me in this some time ago. This, this response came in May 3rd and I just didn't see it until today that apparently they had fixed the all apps screen bug that was in the Launcher 10. So what I want to do here now is I'm going to pull up my Surface Duo with my Launcher 10 setup, and I'm going to give you basically my opinion on, you know, is that fixed, and what is the state of Launcher 10 on Surface Duo now, and is it now finally worth running in place of the Microsoft Launcher, because I think we are very, very close to being there. So let's jump over. And here's what we're looking at. This is my Launcher 10 setup. So the first thing I wanna point out to you is that when you use Launcher 10 on Surface Duo, you have the ability to go into your Launcher preferences and you have the ability to set this thing to foldable type for a split screen kind of layout. This thing is literally updated to work well with Surface Duo. And in fact, if you look at their Play Store listing, bug fixes and improvements for Surface Duo and other foldables, they are working on this thing for Surface Duo, all right? So if you want a deeper dive into this launcher and how to set it up a little bit, I will put the link to that video in the description down below. But the big thing here is, and I accidentally just demonstrated it, when I go home, nothing bad happens. In the past, I would go home and it would swipe over to this screen every time. You'd swipe back over and if you went home, no matter what you did, it would slide over to that. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That is fixed. And I'm super, super freaking excited about that because that was one of the biggest problems with this launcher. I know that's a small thing, but for me, it was driving me crazy and I literally didn't want to use the launcher because of that. Where are we now? How are we feeling now? Well, now, I'm feeling pretty good about this thing. If you look at launching Twitter, and then let's launch YouTube over here, things are working very, very well. And if I go home, I go home, no problem. I can swipe over to my all apps, no problem. Everything is working really, really well. I don't wanna say it's totally perfect because there are still a couple of problems with this launcher. And the biggest one for me that's still remaining is that when you go into phone mode, I'm gonna try and demonstrate this to you. When you go into phone mode, it does this black screen flashy flash thing that looks super not cool and it's like, I don't know what's happening there. When you come back out, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna kind of freak out for a second and then it's back to normal and everything's working well. However, if you just use this thing in book mode most of the time like I do, you know, you've got a pretty damn good looking little setup here and it's working really, really well. In the same vein as the black flashing things, when you rotate it, well, you're gonna get kind of get the same sort of weirdness. You're not really gonna want to rotate this thing anyways because it doesn't seem to really know what it wants to do. It's cutting it in half. So you're really not gonna want to do that anyways, but you can see that when you do do that, it does freak out a little bit. So you have to kind of answer this question for yourself. Is that kind of bugginess better than the kind of bugginess that the Microsoft launcher had? Because like I said, as long as you're just here in book mode, you're in pretty good shape with this launcher and everything works really well. Again, I would encourage you to watch the video in the description for a deeper dive into this and just keep in mind that when I talk about the all apps bug, that is now gone. So big thanks here to Mr. Wet and Delilah for pointing this out to me. And you know, look, I really wanna make this clear. This is the only launcher that I'm aware of besides Microsoft launcher that has the words Surface Duo in the description. So if you wanna go check it out, 
It does work much better than it did in the past. It's come a long ways. As you can see, you have, you know, information in the tiles, right? So you get a notification, like there was someone at my mailbox earlier. Well, that's in the tile now. You can actually see that stuff. But yeah, I'm not gonna go on too much longer on this one. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Have you considered trying this out? I think you probably should at this point because look, it can't be any worse than the Microsoft launcher. That thing has been uh, not great for quite some time now. So, you know, give it a shot. See what you think. Maybe it's the way that you wanna go. Maybe not, but it's free. And if you wanna get some of the extra features, there is a, a, a paid you know model there to get some more features in there, which I've actually done. Yeah, give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Stay tuned for more coverage of Surface Duo just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.